M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Let's create a boot image for our STS 100 and 200. I'll click my file explorer and I've saved a photograph of the FTX 1, the new Yesu. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to select open with paint and we're going to get the classic paint window open. First, I'm going to go File, Save As, go across, then BMP Picture, select that, and you'll get this window open. Now, just take note that it says here, Save Type 24-bit Bitmap, and that's definitely the one we want, okay? And then I'm just going to save it back to my download, just go Downloads here, FTX 1000. I'll, give it, I'll put a little B in there, so I know it's the one with the that is a bitmap then I just go save then I'm going to go file open and double find that in downloads and then I'm looking for the one with the B and I'm going to double click that so we now have the BMP image but it's it, it's the wrong size so now we'll go file go to image properties and here we're going to change it to for the STS 100, 240, then across here to 320. And the easy thing is for the STS 200, we just change the 240 to 480. But anyway, we're just going to do one at a time. Click OK. So we now I know it's cropped it, but that is the size for the STS 100. Then we just go File and Save. OK. So now we'll rename it by going File Explorer, go back to Downloads. There's the file currently called FX1000. We're going to right click it and we're going to rename it. So by going, we have to select show more options and then rename and we're going to call it opening. So turn on your STS100, plug in your cable into your PC and into the, the usual connector on the side here. And when you see the word E on the screen, Press enter, I know mine's got a low battery, but press enter and it will go into SD card mode. This window will appear and it's basically your SD card inside your SDS100. Double click where it says BCD36HP and we're just going to add a file here called opening here. So let's just find that. Right click on your file explorer again, open a new window. File Explorer and just put them side by side. Go to your, see if I can put them side by side here. And then go to your downloads and find the one that you renamed opening. Now, see the way mine says opening too? I'm going to change that, but I'm just going to drag it and drop it into this USB for the SDS 100. So if we open it up again, have a quick look, you'll see it's here. So I'm just going to right click it again, show more and then rename and just change that to just, I'm just going to leave it as opening. Okay. Then we're going to put it into back into our SDS 100 and turn it on. So here it goes, turn it off and then turn it back on. I know it needs charging and then we're going to do in another video there it is there. The Yesu radio booting up. Hope this helps you. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like subscribe 73. M0FXB how would you like your STS 200 to do this? Take a look. Custom boot image and that's the new Yesu. So let me show you how it's done. Save a picture that you would like to have as your screen image. I saved, as you know, the new FX1. And I'll just show you that just quickly. We'll open it with paint. And you'll see the image there. Now, otherwise, you could just right click on the image and go open with and choose paint. So there's a couple of things we need to do to the image to make it usable. The first one we're going to do is save it as a, a BMP image, a bitmap image. So we go File, Save As, and then we're going to go BMP. 
and then take note that here it says 24-bit bitmap you want to save it as that and you can give it a name as well and the name you want to give it although I've already used the name so it's going to overwrite it is opening okay in small in small letters now other people have said use opening dot bmp but i'm finding that doesn't work with me so we're just going to go yes and save that now we still need to resize it so all you do is go file open the one you've just saved which is opening and then we're going to go file image properties so file image properties and then we want it for the STS 200, we want 480, 80, and it's always by 320. Even if you do the STS 100, it's just 240 by 320. So click OK. And now you've created the image. Next you want to do is go back to your Uniden, just here. Plug in one end into your PC, the other end into your SDS 200 and when you see the E appear on the screen in a second press enter so you're now communicate communicating with your SD card so now at the bottom of your PC find your Windows Explorer your little yellow folder right click click open a new window and look for PC okay so let's move this out of the way look for PC and you will find your USB drive, which is actually the SD card that is inside your Uniden scanner, okay? And it's called the BCD36HP, just there. Double click it, and then go to that folder, and like you can see I've already put mine in, I'm not gonna change it again, but mine is just called opening. So all you do is go back to your file explorer, where you save that, so just by yellow folder, uh, find it if you can't find it and it's in your downloads there there's mine let's just move all this out of the way so there it is there opening and literally just click it and drag it across your screen and just let go of your mouse and then it will appear in here then all you do then is just literally unplug let's get the radio nice and big again unplug the USB and when it boots you have your image that you have chosen so I put the instructions in I got thrown because I, I was the instructions clearly say use the word opening dot BMP for me that didn't work as soon as I just put in the put it in as a opening but created the file of course the correct size and bitmap 24 bit it worked fine so hopefully this will get you using your SDS 100s and and having those those nice customized boot up screens. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please hit that like, subscribe, and uh, and catch you on air. Bye for now.